According to BPNG, money laundering and counter-financing of terrorism globally presents not only a problem for criminal justice systems, but also a macroeconomic problem due to the destabilizing of financial systems and its institutions. The launch of the National AML and CTF Strategic Plan 2023 will help set directions to address money laundering and counter-terrorism financing issues in the country. The implementation of this strategy is the work of the National Coordinating Committee meeting and the technical working groups from 15 different PNG institutions. With today's launch of the 2023 to 2027 National Anti-Money Laundering and Counter-Terrorist Financing Strategic Plan, the committee with the support of the working group and the secretariat are making sure they are undertaking activities to meet their obligations in the strategic plan. Now this document is purely a, a list of the essential things that we need to do in the next five years. It talks about how we should be protecting the country. Um, we don't want to be damaging our e economy, socially, and our reputational. Um, so this document basically sets out seven objectives. Um, it is our third strategic plan. It sets out seven strategic objectives. The document recognizes the international environment in which we will be operating in um, and also domestically. It emphasizes, the document emphasizes our approach is intelligence-led risk assessment and is based on evidence and collection of assessments across different agencies. Top five risks PNG faces are illegal logging, illegal fishing, fraud and tax evasion. Through these meetings, they will be able to address these issues. Genia further elaborated that the plan highlights PNG's specific problems with PNG developed solutions. Acting Director for BPNG, Wilson Onea, said that the plan is giving a blueprint on how the government agencies are present in the room can work together to address those issues. According to BPNG's webpage on discussions of AML and CTF, effective enforcement of regulations and policies to deter money laundering and the financing of terrorism should inter alia enhance the integrity of the financial system and reduce incentives for the commission of crime with jurisdiction. Jasmine Jack, TV1 News.